Slide decks from consulting firms like McKinley, BCG or Bain are widely considered to be the gold standard in storytelling, data presentation and design. There's a cool video here on YouTube from the guys at Analyst Academy that was really the inspiration for this video uh, dealing with the pyramid principle of storytelling that is used by most of these companies. And basically the idea of the pyramid principle is that you first tell the audience your main point and then use key arguments and some supporting points to show how you got to the conclusion that was already presented in the main point. So if you guys want to know more about the pyramid principle of presenting, try to say that three times fast, go and watch their video. But what I want to talk about today is very specific. I want to talk about the supporting points, so the bottom of the pyramid. So in most of the examples shown, the supporting points are just data points visualized to actually give credit to the main message. However, I feel that with just a little bit of sprinkling of IBCS, in the form of visualizations creating with Zebra BI, we can improve the visualization of the data immensely. And since this means that I have to act smart today, I should probably put on my glasses. I'm ready. Let's look at the Bain example from their video, which comes from the luxury market study of 2011. Link down below. From the title already, the main point that the slide is trying to convey is that there is forecasted growth in 2011 for the luxury market. So the key arguments supporting this point are that most of the spending will come from new customers. However, it will also, but in smaller part, come from the existing customers. The bridge chart was a great choice here as it clearly shows the increases and decreases of spending in a certain group. So creating a bridge chart like this in 2023 Following the guidelines of IBCS is pretty easy, especially if you use Zebra BI. So going to PowerPoint when you have your data prepared, simply go to my add-ins and choose Zebra BI charts. Now pick a chart that best represents your data and just simply put in your numbers. So after you tell it what are your results, your beautiful bridge chart is practically complete. And this is a lot faster than you would get with other tools or native visuals. Now Zebra BI helps us even more. The chart is completely responsive, so what we can do is really maximize the amount of data that we can fit on our slide. So just a side note here, Zebra BI is also available in Excel and with its visual filtering ability, making your data practically filter just like in other tools like Power BI, your exploratory data analysis will be a lot easier and you will be able to produce charts with meaningful data visualizations like this one a lot easier than you do now. So going with a chart like this would probably make sense here as the increases are highlighted green following the IBCS guidelines and this makes the chart a lot more understandable. So just imagine if there was also a decrease in the data. The red would make so much more sense then. Saying this, it's completely understandable why Bain used red here. They're masters at highlighting the data that they want to emphasize and using red here, I think achieved what they were going for. And they usually do it in the colors of their company or their clients' companies. So with Zebra BI, this is also very easy to do. Just simply change the color of the positives and now it matches the whole document. So now that you guys know how to easily create visualizations like they do in the biggest consulting firms, let's see if we can actually improve something. Another thing on their slide that I don't think is highlighted enough is that the 2011 numbers here are just estimates. So going with the rules of IBCS, I use different color shades and patterns to convey to the user that some of the data is showing previous year and some of the data is actually showing forecasted numbers. So another welcomed addition that Zebra adds automatically are difference highlights. These are automatically calculated for you and give your data additional context, showing you the exact magnitude of the growth in the market. Data labels can also be set from absolute to relative with a single click to emphasize your point even further. 
So the second thing I think we can improve is the key highlights. I believe that each of these highlights should be more indicated to what data point that they're actually referring to. Because I, when reading the slide for the first time, was having quite a lot of trouble pinpointing exactly what they're trying to explain. And this took time away from me listening to the presentation of the actual paper. And this is something that's also easily improved with the use of Zephyr PI. Our highlight markers make it easy to understand exactly which comment is explaining which data point. Another thing is that there's also quite a lot of text on this slide. So we moved some of it into the title and this gives us a little bit more room to now deep dive into the growth of the new customers. So this gives us even more insight that is presented with a vertical waterfall chart made by Zebra BI tables. Pretty much in the same exact way as we did before with charts. The last thing is decluttering the chart a little bit. So there's a lot of elements that this chart has that I think are just unneeded. And the first being the legend. Now that we have all of our categories neatly tucked in on our X axis, there's no need to have the legend. The second is the Y axis. I don't think we actually need an axis break here as I think the visualization shows the variances quite well. So for this reason, just don't include the don't include the axis break and simply get rid of the y-axis. The scaling will be better as well. And the last thing I did was move the relative numbers of the increases into the comments as with the comment markers we know exactly what the comments are trying to explain. And that's it! If you think this video was informative definitely put a like and comment if you think that uh, my change is actually made now for a better slide. So thank you for watching. With Zebra BI, any presentation you do from now on will be actionable and informative. And hey, if you want to learn more about visualizing data, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and start watching a lot of our videos.